Hello, welcome back to Gundish Live. Life. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at this MIDI 2 keyframe generator app um, for After Effects, and actually, it works for 3D Studio Max or actually Blender in this case. So, first, you download the app, and yeah, this is the app already running. If you cannot run the app, you need you prob probably need to change the permissions first. So, this, this code over here. Um, allowing you to change the permissions for the app to run so let me show it to you so oops yeah so this is the app and if you run this and there's like an error message popping up you simply run the terminal and type this code x adder minus d column apple quarantine drag and drop the app and then hit enter and then the app should run okay so this is the MIDI uh, MIDI to keyframes app converter and all we need to do is just to load the MIDI files and then convert it I have a couple of MIDI files set up over here um, this is like a MIDI from video games called Chrono Trigger you might have played this in the past if you're not you should play this game uh, it was available for Super Nintendo so if the MIDI loaded properly you should see you can actually now export PY you can of course adjust the this not on not off and the, the curve that does it but anyway in this case it's gonna save it as chrono dot midi or actually dot py that's for blender and let's see let's open blender quickly okay this is blender 3.5 and we simply just use the text editor open the stop chrono uh, it should be loaded. Zero bytes. That's weird. Okay. Hmm. File load MIDI. Try again. Maybe use this one, Marley. Export PY. Mm, zero bytes. That's really weird. Let's try end of time. time this actually works and I only get a zero bytes as well anyhow I think the MIDI files there's all kind of type of MIDI files some of them doesn't quite work okay end of time seems to be working we have the BPM frame per seconds etc so by default, Blender opens at 24 frames per second. If you run this, it's going to change to 30 frames per second. And we should have animations based on end of time. Okay, that's the, uh, this app is still kind of better and it's, uh, it's open source, so keep that in mind. So let me save this end of time and in order to hear something we perhaps need to open this file with GarageBand the latest version of GarageBand actually run MIDI file which is pretty neat that's the harp sound and then it 
it tells you everything like there's the piano fiber phone okay this is the the end of time theme song Okay, if you're happy with this, okay, just gonna export the song to disk, save it into, save it as AAC or MP3, I think MP3 is alright, save it on the desktop, end of time, Chrono Trigger, actually one of the game with a lot of amazing soundtracks, and highly recommend it for you to play this, even though this is like 2023, this game was made around 90s. It's a really beautiful, beautiful game. Um, okay, we can you can read at this Python code. It's basically uh, looking at this not on, not off, and creates these animations. I think if it's multi-track, um, I think the latest version of the app. I don't have it here. It should give you like a multi-track controller as well. For now, I'm just gonna try to load the the sound uh, using video sequencer in Blender, and go to the first frame, Shift A, load the sound the, the sound MP3. Normally, I also like to display the wave the waveform, then scale this using Control and middle mouse button. And with the playback, you won't maybe turn on scrubbing and play every frame or sync to audio, but play every frame, maybe the frame dropping, probably that's what you want. Let's say we finish around here. Hopefully the animation, yeah, there might be a delay you know, in this case. Let's see. If it should end over here, I found that maybe, maybe the app kind of uh, yeah. I sometimes I found that there might be like a some kind of weird delay, maybe the script needs to be tweaked. Yeah, I think it's even slower. So it's not it's not perfect, but there's a definitely there's a potential here with the MIDI and animations. And in the near future I actually want to try to ask like uh, chat GPT AI just tell it to make like a simple MIDI song inspired by whatever and yeah and then it should create the MIDI for us I don't know if this is gonna work yet but yeah it's uh, interesting and um, this is actually inspired by Clockmender then the artist that used to deal with a lot of uh, music MIDI he actually made his own github and animation nodes code which is from four six years ago this this one actually work and i don't know let's try to email alan i don't know he disappeared around 2021 so hopefully he's okay so this video is dedicated to clockmender hopefully he's still okay if you watch this video hope you're all right mike and hopefully to, we can see your latest code update so we can actually use animation nodes and MIDI once again all right so yeah so, so that's the video for now um, the app itself yeah MIDI to AI you can download this from patreon of factory settings it's a uh, he or she uh, he made it this open source app to convert MIDI to keyframe Hopefully this works for Blender 100%. So at the moment it's still work in progress, but still it's a something that can be useful. 
if you are a bit of musicians and also you're animating MIDI is really basic and simple but you can turn it into interesting visuals and maybe with the help of AI you can do a little bit more you know like giving a bit of visualizations that's a uh, kind of trigger emotions whatever but yeah that's the MIDI from video games Chrono Trigger imported into Blender using this app alright so thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye